how many Indians here in the audience? We have uh, quite a few out there. So we we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. Okay, we're still seven, eight percent of the population. <laughs> um, well, I represent Talent House India, and I, I put India out there because uh, nine out of ten times we Indians will know that you know you will leave us out, and. Uh, all the statistics that you did see of Ica was minus where we are because we built our own ecosystem, uh, much like uh, uh, you know both Zupa and, and Ica. It's it's if I can if I can understand and see their presentations, we've all worked in our silos. Even I have worked in my own silo in India, and uh, in our creative uh, crowdsourcing platform, we cut across film, fashion, photography, music, and art. And these are four or five verticals which we work focused into. We don't look outside of this. Uh, so we are not into ideas. But in these fields, we look at everything that is required, both from, you know, you could ask for crowdsourcing of scripts. You could look at actual films that come through. You can crowdsource models. You can look at fashion that comes through. You can crowdsource lines for your campaign. Um, just some housekeeping. Um, though Talent House is one platform that you currently see, there are actually four different markets that we're looking at. There is a global platform that is there. There is India, which started next. We've now got Germany in, in, out of Munich. And soon, we'll be starting off MENA as, as a region of operations. In India, we're a joint venture with Reliance, where Reliance, uh, and I'm a part of Reliance, uh, leading the entire foray. So um, I come to the time where uh, all that you've heard from, uh, from Zupa as well as from uh, uh, Ica, uh, where creative crowdsourcing was interacting with brands and getting them creative solutions. Uh, frankly, you know what, these three years, so we've also grown with the crowdsourcing week. We've been here year one, year two. And year one and year two, uh, my presentations would typically be about how, uh, what is it that we are doing, and how is it that the creative communities are corresponding. So I'll very quickly take you through there. Um, our platform, this is year one, year two, was something what we call creative invites, where we host our invitations or contests on our platform. We have brands on the other side, and we have an artist community that caters to it. This was probably something that we had to live with in the last four years. The creative challenges were there. We've done in excess of probably uh, can I go to the next one? Yeah. So um, typically, we would get Happy Dent who came to us and said, can you do special edition packaging for us? We had Pepsi who said, can you come and create our calendar for 2012? Uh, Micromax is the largest selling handphone in India. It overtakes, I mean, it outsells Apple maybe four times or five times in our country. And their logo was crowdsourced on Talent House. So we moved from ideas to uh, content that they could use on the social space and got into actual hardcore brand assets, which could be used in the market. And the advertising fraternity out there and the brands who wanted to adopt this platform wanted it to work harder. And they said, we don't need the content that goes into social space. Give me something that I can use as an asset, which will replace what I'm spending on my agency with. So this is what we've been doing for the last uh, four years, and we've done appro approximately 111 plus projects in this space. We've created more than 2,500 videos in the last two years. So that's much more than the top three agencies put together in India. Uh, I'm sure you know both the other platforms would have similar numbers because each campaign would give you 100, 200 videos. We've composed more than 1,000 plus jingles. Uh, we have an active community of 60,000 that have just participated. But in India, if you take a look at the creative people, we have probably two or three million plus young creative people who are starting off their careers. And these are not established artists. We have more than about 700 plus schools that cater to the creative fraternity across film, fashion, photography, music, and art. And in 10 years from now, we'll have a population of uh, Singapore that would be uh, the creative population that would have graduated between now and the next 10 years. So that's the fraternity we are dealing with. Some campaigns that I just want to highlight before I move into the points that I'm making. Uh, we had a, a brief from Nestle. They have these chocolates that they, um, Alpinos, which are like your Ferrero Rocher equivalent. And each Alpino in India has got a love message. 
the agency hit a roadblock and said that, you know, they've got three creative people who are going to give you lines, and they could not go beyond 20 lines. So they crowdsourced 2,500 plus lines with Talent House, saying, can you come, can your writers come and give us, uh, give us uh, lines that can go across and give us a production for the entire year? Um, Carbon is another very hot selling phone. You know, we've got these smartphones in India and, and, and the numbers are really uh, great. So this would, pro Carbon would probably equal what, what Apple sells in India. And they're like a hundred dollar phone, but they're smartphones. They said, can you come up and give us, crowdsource your startup animation for my phones? And we gave them, I think they're using five out of the 25 hot ones that they shortlisted out of the 250 that they crowdsourced. Startup animations that are now on their handsets. Um, Absolute came to us and they said that, you know what, we've got these signature bottles that we want to come out with. Globally, we do these fancy bottles. Can you crowdsource the India signature bottle, which, will, which is now being sold across all duty-free? So if you look into the duty-free when you're flying back, look out for that. And we, we gave them that. So there were unique projects that they came back to us with. Lee had bought out 2,000 pairs of jeans. They had, they had sourced out 2,000 pairs of jeans, and they wanted to make a product to give away, and they said, we don't know what idea to use. And they said that, can you get people to actually submit crafted pair of jeans for us in terms of objects into my stores? And we had 350 such artists come and craft out their pairs of jeans. Your jeans are like your skin. You don't give them up. And it takes a lot for you to actually craft out something and give it in. So these are the kind of unique stuffs that we've had to work with because the managers out there want, to, want their uh, things to you know, work a little harder. And it's taken us a while. I'm sure it would have taken you a while to get an acceptance from the agencies. Abby is the India equivalent of Khan's Awards for us. And the first time they instituted a crowdsourcing award is what we won for our campaign with, uh, with Absolute. And it's taken us a while to get three years to get this kind of an acceptance with the agencies. The brands were the early adopters, and they wanted us right from the word go. But the challenge that we are facing now is not from the brand's point. The brands have accepted us, and they give us business. And there is a flow of engagements that we have. The challenge was with the creative fraternity. So the people that started with me in year one were graduates from school. And they said, I'm coming to Talent House to build my portfolio. Year two, they said, OK, I've built my portfolio, and I'm winning some awards, so I'm getting some money out of you. But what are you doing for me now that I come back to you? And this was the challenge that we had to think of. So we said, we're nurturing artists through our creative invites. But is there a way I can get all the artists across the country to buy for me across the four or five pillars that I have where I can celebrate them? And we came out with intellectual property. So we said, can we think of something which is unique, which is digital, which is in the space of celebrating fashion, film, music, such that artists across who are currently on established or, or getting established, uh, those who are three years, four years down the line, the 60,000 that have already participated with me, which is a win-win for us as an organization as well as for them. So here are some of the things that we have initiatives we have taken and executed in the last year.
So um, a quick snapshot, the traditional, what you saw, we turned it around. We got online participation, young budding designers, uh, net net. They were a sellout as far as uh, our e-commerce platform partner, Jabong goes. In uh, three weeks' time, they sold out the initial lot, and there was repeat. We are in year two, year three, already talks with them. Let me move, let me move to another one. This is where we took music and we said, can we create something unique for music? Absolute who came on um, and sponsored this for us. The track is ready to be launched by them. Uh, 50 DJs will play this across at least 100 parties in a year that they're going to be there, reach out to more than a million people uh, with their own track. Moving to films, we said, you know, one of the biggest challenge filmmakers in India have. These are all, all live projects that are there with us. We've already curated more than 200 plus mobile films. The challenge we feel that, that is there for us in year two, year three, is how do we take these ideas and how can we take it global? Uh, digital space takes you across. So we contribute to more than 20% of our global campaigns, and they contribute to a significant amount when we, we have campaigns out of here. So can we take our ideas and take it ahead? Um, and move from an India Online Fashion Week to an Australia Online Fashion Week, to a Singapore Online Fashion Week, where we take the crowds off the area on our platform, co-create these IPs in a manner which takes our ideas global, brings in the dollar for us, gets our PR and equity out, and nurtures the community in giving them a lot more feel-good factor than just plain contests and, and you know, winning gratification. Uh, these are some of the reasons why we went into it, and clearly, uh, the way we are looking at it is, is we co-create it, and we, we have a proof of model in India, and we franchise it out to partners across the globe to take it and move it ahead. It's a self-sustaining business for us. Already, two of our global IPs, we are looking at partners who are looking at investing into it and running it off as a separate unit on its own with its own ecosystem. It's disruptive, it's digital, it's exciting, it's nurturing, and it's celebrating the artist community that we deal with throughout. And it's, to us, it's the next level of co-creation. I leave you with uh, something that we're launching right now. This is the first time with my partner, Tariq, from 100% Mad out of uh, Dubai. Um, we're keeping, and we said, can we co-create artists, or can we get artists from across the globe to create one song for something called One World, One Song. Can I just get the volume, please? Oh.
thank Great. you.